Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make slime. Now, um, this is slime with borax, and Kawaii Gummy Bear has requested this video, but she also told me that uh, she doesn't she doesn't have access to borax, so I will be making another video on how to make slime without borax, if this video has 10 likes. And um, also, I want to... Um, I want to say something else, but let's just get started with the materials. And we're outside, so if you hear that noise, it's outside. So you would need a box to store all of your slime. If you don't have a box, then you can use a plastic bag. Oh, I wanted to say, if you don't know where to buy borax, you can go to the grocery store and get borax. Um, okay, so you can, it can be a Ziploc bag or a box to store all of it. You would need Elmer's glue, and it has to be Elmer's or else it will not work. Food coloring, I just had neon, but if you want your slime to be white, then you don't need food coloring. One cup of water, and it's better to store it in a glass like this. Borax. Two bowls, and you want two bowls that you don't use. Um, I would not suggest using two bowls that you eat out of because it will not be healthy. Plastic fork, the plastic spoon, I just found this one in my drawer for munchies and you don't even use it. So yes, yeah, so let's get started with the, with, um, so let's just get started. Okay, so you want to take one of your bowls and this one is going to be the one with the glue and this one is going to be the one with the borax. So you want to take your bowl and you want to take your Elmer's glue and you want to give it a nice little shake and you want to pour about... Um, let me just open this, it's stuck. Second, ooh, this is hard. Okay. Right, you want to give it a nice little shake, and I bought this about a week ago and I already made slime. So you want to pour about, about, <laughs> second. Probably that much. I think this is good. If you want your slime to be normal sized, then that is perfect. And then you want to put your glue aside. Now we're going to use the part with the water. So now you want to take your one cup of water, let's tap this, and you want to pour about, um, about that much. So this is how it should look like. You don't want to put too much because then your slime won't work, and you don't want to put, uh, like, too less because then your slime is going to be so sticky. Alright, so now you want to take your food coloring and you want to pick your color. I'm going to go with this light purple. I mean, not light pink. And this is the food coloring. It is Clubhouse Neon. And this is light pink. And you want to pour about nine drops. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's okay if you pour ten because sometimes it just comes out. And now you want to take your fork. You want we're gonna leave our spoon aside because that's gonna be used for the borax. Now you want to give that a nice little stir. So my color, when you drop it, it looks red. That when you mix it, it's so pretty. And you want to like stop stirring until your color is like pure pink. So as you can see, there is a little bit of white and red. So I'm just going to stir a little bit more. If you want your color to be a little bit marbleish, um, I wouldn't suggest doing that because it's not going to look too nice. Then you can uh, stir a little bit. So as you can see, I'm almost done. Takes no time. Okay, now I'm finished. And also, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. Make sure you make slime outside because my mom didn't, didn't want me to make slime in the house because it makes such a mess. Now you want to take your fork and just pour it aside and pour it over there. And now you see this bowl, we're just going to put it aside. Now, using the other bowl. So, now we're going to take our other bowl and we want to pour about this much water. Let me show you. About that much. This is good. Not like half 
probably half of the bowl, but a very thin layer. Now you want to take your borax, and you can get this at any grocery store except for, I think, I think except for um, Food Basics. Food Basics does not have any borax. Borax is about $20, and I would not suggest getting a whole um, box, because for slime you only need like a quarter. But if you know a friend who has, just ask them to use it. Like my friend Ashley, she uses them. So you want to take about, probably about that much borax. So right over here. And now we, I'm going to pour it in the water. You want to pour it, and you want to mix it. You don't want to mix it until it dissolves. You just want to mix it until all the chunks are like melting. And if you can't mix properly, just tilt it a little bit. There we go. Now it's going to work. Oops. And don't put too much borax or else your slime will not work. Right? So if you want to add glitter to your borax, go ahead. Alright, so this is good. So now what you want to do is, I'm just going to close my borax so it won't fall. And now just put everything aside. Oh, I got some of my pants. Everything aside. And even put the food color on this aside. Just everything so you have space. Now, oopsies. No worries. Okay, so now you have your two bowls. I'm just going to mix a little bit more. And you want to stop mixing until your water with the borax looks, looks like this. Now, we're going to pour a little bit of uh, water with borax into this. So now what you want to do is you want to tilt it a little bit. And then push down. Push down with your spoon. I think. And you want to take a little bit of borax, but some of it did, did dissolve. So here it is. And you want to pour it right in the center. Then you want to mix. And then you can see the slime is sort of forming. And that is a good sign. Now, if your slime is not forming, then you might want to just continue putting some borax. And if it's not forming, then restart watch this video again. Because the first time I did it, my slime was terrible. So the more practice you get, the better you get. I just want to continue pouring it until it's like a big chunk together. So you can see it sort of separate, like it has its own group of family. Now, it's taking a little bit off. And I suggest doing this so you have, so you can pour more borax. Okay, now like I said, do this. And there, now you can see it forming. It's getting a lot better. So like this, and now you just want, you just want to pour about three scoops. And if you're wondering why I'm making this video on my allergy channel, it's because I'm not going to be making any more uh, videos like this on my normal channel because my mom does need her phone. The app that I used to make my video takes a lot of storage, so I'm just going to use it on my phone. And this is my phone that I'm filming this video. Okay, so now you want to put the spoon aside, and this is the, like, the very fun part. So now you want to take your fingers, mine is already like that. You want to pull the bracelet, uh, I have a Pandora, I don't even know why I'm wearing this when I'm making slime. If you have sleeves, pull it up. You want to sort of knead it with your hands and take your slime and just scoop all the water up. So you see this water, just scoop it. My hands are very cold because it is very cold outside right now. And like I said, oops, a little bit on there. The more you play with it, the more texture it gets. It may seem small, but it's going to get bigger. Now, I'm just scooping up a little bit. There we go. This is perfect. 
So now you just want to sort of do this. Oops. I'm just scooping up. So if you have a plastic bowl like me, this is rubber made, and the slime does get stuck. So just want to do this with your fingers. Put pressure and just scoop it. Now, I just want to talk about when you wash this, you want to put in the dishwasher. Um, but don't put it with other clean bowls. Just put it by itself. It will take a while to hand wash. So put in the dishwasher, but do not put it with other clean bowls. That is a bad idea. Put it itself or put it with other dishes that are extremely dirty because it will, when it washes, the slime will get on the other bowls. And that is terrible because my mom got really mad at me for that. And okay, so now... As you can see, I'm finished. Now, when you're done, you just want to scoop it all up. There we go. Okay. So now, I want to push everything aside. My hands are very pink right now. I don't want to get any of my box. Now, if you're wondering where to get these boxes, my friend Dash actually gave this one to me because she already has, has tons. So I would suggest getting a rainbow balloon box, and this is a rainbow balloon box. I'm just going to open this, and you want to store it in here. If you are storing it, oops, if you are storing it in a plastic bag, if you uh, see, if you like, feel that it's getting dry, just add some drips of water in it, and as you can see, I did not clean this. I had slime in here that was like, I don't know, about three months old, just threw that out. And the more you play with it, the more you play with it, it's so loud outside, the better texture feels. Now, I really like this noise. I don't know about you guys. See, now it's not sticky at all. See, I'm just scooping everything up. See, like I said, the more you play with it, the better it is. So if you want to pause this video, just play with it for about five, ten minutes, and it will become so nice. Very stretchy. And, sorry guys, my brother's filming, and he's just pointing everywhere. Sorry, not my brother, my cousin. My gosh, they literally look the exact same. Day. My cousin's laughing right now. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so if you see... That your hands are getting a little bit this scoop it up all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it Just playing with it and it feels so good and i'm i'm gonna store it in here the same thing so if you leave it in here overnight it will start to sort of like stretch that is a good sign that means that your slime is is um a very good slime and like I said if it gets dry my my slime got dry just uh, take a cup take a spoon just like drizzle a little bit of water like sprinkle it and yeah so I'm just gonna stretch it so it's easy to fit in the box yeah so hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye